Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to be discussing a topic that many dog owners are familiar with, skittishness. Some dogs are naturally more timid and shy than others, and it's important to understand why this is the case. If you're considering getting a new dog, or you already have one, and you're noticing some skittish behavior, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll be talking about the most skittish dog breeds in the world, and what you can do to help them feel more comfortable and confident. So grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get started. Number 10. Chihuahua. The Chihuahua is a Mexican breed of toy dog. Possess loyalty, charm, and the attitude of a large dog. Even small dogs need to be trained, and without training they can take control of your household. Despite the fact that they are usually quite fearless when facing other larger dogs, especially when they feel the need to protect their guardians, Chihuahuas tend to be afraid of heights and loud noises. It is likely that this behavior is related to its small size and low muscle density. However, the fear may also be rooted in the Chihuahua's genes and reinforced by their upbringing and experiences with other people and dogs. In a Chihuahua, which is genetically a very social dog, the fear may be due to abuse, neglect, and lack of socialization. Number 9. Miniature Schnauzer The Miniature Schnauzer is a small breed of Schnauzer-type dog that originated in Germany in the mid to late 19th century. The smallest members of the Schnauzer family also have one of the most significant predispositions to fear heights. Schnauzers also have a very strong character and require good socialization to avoid overly fearful behavior, as well as jealous and possessive behavior towards their caregivers. Number 8. Pembroke Welsh Corgi The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is a breed of herding dog that originated in Wales. They are famous as the preferred breed of Queen Elizabeth II, who owned more than 30 royal corgis during her reign. These dogs are extremely sociable and hate to be left alone. Therefore, they are one of the breeds most at risk of developing separation anxiety when you leave the house. As for predisposition to fear, studies have shown that the Pembroke Welsh Corgi is among the three dog breeds most afraid of pyrotechnics and among the five most likely to be afraid of thunder. On the other hand, its adaptability to heights and surfaces seems to be quite acceptable. Before we continue our video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon for your daily dose of pet-related content. Number 7. Spanish Water Dog The Spanish Water Dog is a breed used in Spain as a herding dog and guard dog. It is sometimes used as a hunting dog and is good at retrieving from water. Although the Spanish Water Dog responds quite well to loud noises, about 12%, it is one of the dog breeds that is most fearful of unfamiliar people and slash or completely new situations. Almost 30% of the animals of this breed show fearful behavior patterns when confronted with an unknown situation. This underlines the importance of early socialization in this breed to avoid behavioral problems in adulthood. Number 6. Sheltie The Shetland Sheepdog, or simply Sheltie, is on the podium of the most fearful dog breeds towards strangers, together with the Spanish Water Dog, which according to studies is the case with almost one in four individuals of this breed. Shyness is one of the most characteristic traits of the Shetland Sheepdog, which usually develops extreme loyalty to its caregivers, but tends to be suspicious or even uncomfortable in the presence of strangers. For this reason, good socialization and a high level of physical exercise and mental stimulation are essential to achieve a balanced behavior in this breed. Number 5. Soft-Coated Wheaton Terrier The Soft-Coated Wheaton Terrier is a terrier that originated in Ireland. This ancient breed was used for hunting burrowing animals and herding. It is one of the largest and easiest terriers to socialize and is less prone to aggression, which is one of the most serious behavior problems in these dogs. In fact, the Irish soft-coated Wheaton Terrier is one of the bravest and friendliest dog breeds when it comes to interacting with people and new stimuli. On the other hand, there is a significant predisposition to fear loud noises, especially thunder and lightning. Number 4. Cairn Terrier The Cairn Terrier is a terrier breed that originated in the Scottish Highlands and is considered one of the oldest working dogs in Scotland. A Cairn presents as a small, shaggy, alert dog with an erect head, tail, and ears. Cairn Terriers are known to be very sensitive to loud noises and can develop anxiety easily. They are easily fearful of fireworks and thunder. 
Early socialization and puppy training are recommended and will help the dog develop into a well-balanced, well-behaved companion. Number 3. Rough Collie Originally, the Rough Collie was used as a herding dog in Scotland and Northern England. This breed is easily recognized by their beautiful, multicolored coat with a long, rough texture. They are highly intelligent, but also sensitive dogs. They usually get along well with children, but are not comfortable in a noisy household with a lot of noise and commotion. The Rough Collie needs a lot of attention and tends to be fearful without socialization. Number 2. Legata Romagnolo The Legata Romagnolo is an Italian dog breed that was traditionally used as a hunting dog, especially as a water retriever. Dogs, like humans, are emotionally complex and can react to their situations as differently as humans. It is common for all dogs, regardless of breed, to be afraid of thunder, and Lagata Romagnolos are no exception. Number 1. Labrador Retriever The Labrador Retriever, or simply Labrador, is a British Retriever dog breed. Although the Labrador Retriever is one of the best dogs for children due to its playful nature, it suffers the most from fear of heights, closely followed by its close relative, the Golden Retriever. Remember that just because they are naturally sociable and friendly does not mean they do not need to be socialized. In fact, both physical activity and mental stimulation, as well as proper socialization, are essential to avoid problems when interacting with other dogs, as Labrador Retrievers tend to be boisterous and overstimulated. This behavior can be misinterpreted by other dogs and cause a negative reaction. That's all for today. We hope this information was helpful and informative for you. Remember, each dog is unique and individual experiences may vary, but with patience, training, and love, any dog can become more confident and comfortable in any environment. If you found this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great content. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more videos in the future.